battery electric semi trucks might just be a huge fire risk, at least according to the media. You see, folks, just a few weeks ago, we heard news of Nikola being under the spotlight for having around five of its Class 8 BEVs go on fire at its Phoenix headquarters facility in Arizona. This led to alarming concerns around the safety and sustainability of battery electric trucks, particularly those made by Nikola. And well, I'm here to break it to you folks, but a lot of the concerns are very much unnecessary. On the early hours of June 23rd, we heard a tweet from Nikola stating a mysterious fire in the back of its Phoenix, Arizona headquarters. A few hours later, it was revealed that that fire occurred with four Trey battery electric trucks, with Nikola having suspected some foul play may be at play. And why would that be the case? Well, because Nikola found CCTV footage of the area at that time and found a mysterious vehicle at the back right around the time these trucks combusted. Now, at 4 a.m. in the morning, there are no real employees showing up to the headquarters, even though there might be employees showing up to the factory, which means there's significant concern about this having been a purposeful act. Now, obviously, an investigation on this is still being conducted, so it's difficult to make any sort of final conclusions as to what exactly happened. But as we all know, the media and Twitter communities are at full force trying to determine what could have happened here. And well, one of those accusations is that Nikola's batteries were faulty, resulting in a self-ignition of the batteries and the trucks themselves. And well, from the footage I'm about to show you, chances of that happening are actually extremely low. Now, I'm sure many of you know that lithium ion battery fires tend to be quite toxic and quite dangerous. Although the death rates of lithium ion battery fires are lower than that of gas cars, the reason for that is quite simple and that's the fact that there are simply way less electric vehicles on the road than gasoline vehicles. However, as many firefighting departments and situations have shown us, it is actually extremely difficult to fight most electric vehicle fires. And there's an extremely simple reason for why that is the case. And it has all to do with something called thermal runaway. You see, a lithium ion cell, which is arranged in hundreds of configurations within a module, and then within a pack, which makes the battery of an electric vehicle, holds a lot of chemical electrolyte. You are essentially storing energy in this electrolyte to then discharge as electrons when you need it. This means that unlike a conventional hydrogen fuel cell or an internal combustion engine, you have a path of potential short circuit within the battery because at the end of the day, the battery is simply a part of the bigger picture electronic circuit of the vehicle. This means if there is some sort of catalyst that triggers a short, the resistance of the battery would trigger a massive fire and increase temperatures that are not seen for most electric cells. And because one cell catches on fire, all the other cells sequentially also catch on fire. And because electrolytes are compressed within an anode and a cathode of a typical cylindrical cell, getting to the core cause of the fire in a typical situation is very hard. This requires a lot of water, a lot of energy, and a lot of time to fight a typical battery fire. This design also happens to be the reason why spontaneous combustion of electric vehicles is more popular than that of gasoline vehicles, because an electric circuit is constantly on, unlike a typical combustion engine where you need a spark plug and an ignition for the engine to work. There are situations where sitting still, electric vehicles can still catch fire. And here with Nikola Motors situation, this is what many people are indicating towards. If there was supposedly a battery defect or some sort of external event, chances are these batteries could have exploded instantaneously and resulted in a combustion of the entire chassis. However, although the concerns are certainly valid for such a nascent technology, as I'm about to show you from this video and some of the analysis that I've done for Nikola's core technology, this is unlikely to be the root cause of this fire. 
And well, one of the first and more obvious reasons for why I believe that is the case is simply that most EV fires that we've seen on the roads over the past couple of decades have happened during operation. Whereas for Nikola's battery electric trucks, which were sitting in inventory and potentially sitting there still for multiple days, the fires occurred in a stationary state. So although not completely out of the question, data has shown us that that is simply a very low possibility based on the real world. And the second, probably even more obvious reason is that the battery pack compartments of these trucks simply did not catch on fire based on the real life footage we have. If you have a closer look at some of the aerial footage, we can see that mostly the front chassis, the cab and the axles are where most of the damage has occurred. And as you can see where the battery packs aligned three by three are situated, there has been little to no damage. As a matter of fact, you can see that these trucks are ignited on one side. And as you can see, despite the fire experienced by the chassis, the battery pack encasing itself has not been seized. This in and of itself is a pretty clear sign of how strong electric batteries have become today. And not only that folks, but based on some CCTV footage of the real live fire, you can see most of it was contained in a small area and rose vertically with little to no black smoke. Although this seems very minuscule, this is an important detail because a typical EV battery fire occurs with a significant explosion as well as a lot of toxic soot and black smoke. And not only does the fire last a lot longer, but it typically erupts in a vertical and horizontal manner, resulting in a self-combustion of all components within the chassis. And as you can clearly see from this shot, none of the battery bank enclosures were seized during this fire. If this was actually caused by short circuit or some sort of manufacturing defect, this area, as well as all the rear axles, would be the first to get engulfed in flames. All the tires would have popped and the chassis itself would have melted with the inverter and the power electronics behind. However, in this case, most of the fire was actually isolated to the front cab, which obviously could be a very easy target for anybody that would have pulled up in this parking lot. All these factors combined to make me believe quite confidently that this fire was a result of foul play. Now, whether or not that was accidental foul play, we'll have to let the investigation answer that own question. But the reality is somebody does not really want Nikola to succeed. Whether that be an investor or a short seller or an employee of the company who just got laid off through the 7% workforce reduction, chances are there's a lot more yet to come about the situation and certainly a lot more FUD that needs to be addressed. As usual, folks, let me know your thoughts on the situation down in the comment section below. Do you generally believe that battery electric trucks are a significant hurdle to the environment through fires? Or do you believe solutions exist like hydrogen fuel cells that can resolve these? Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.